Welcome to Streamer Class, guys. My name is Sigma, and today we're going to talk about mods, VIPs, and channel editors. Let's go. All right, guys, so too often I'm hanging out in a channel and I see a mod chatting away and somebody gets hosted and then the mod doesn't do anything. And I realize, ah, that was somebody that got mod as a form of recognition instead of getting what they should have gotten, which was VIP. And you guys need to knock off giving these people a mod role instead of the VIP role. You need to know the difference. So your mods do not count towards your viewer count. That is number one. So if you're worried about your viewer count and you're like, hey, I'm hanging out at five or six, I'd really like to get to 10 because that's my goal right now. And it turns out you have six mods. You might be actually at that 10 goal and you just happen to mod everybody. The other thing is this is not a form of recognition. I know that some of our really close friends are amazing. And even my kids, I gave them mod when it first started. They are VIPs. Number one, they are not mods. They're not there to work. They maybe did something really awesome for your stream, really awesome for your community. They're around all the time, but they don't really want the mod duties because it is a job. Then you give them VIP. Let's talk about what a mod should be. A mod should be somebody from your community that visits your stream often and stays for long periods of time. They should be active in your community, both the Discord and your channel. They should be a positive member of your community. This is key because a lot of us have some of the people that hang out that they might talk a lot. They might be there really often, but maybe they're not always on the positive side. Mod should be calm, cool, and collected. I know it's not always easy to remain calm when somebody's acting a fool in your chat, but your mods need to be because they need to know how to ban them, report them, put it into your record section that we talked about last week for your discord. They need to handle all of these things instead of just jumping straight at the person and attacking them. Now, if you have somebody in your community that's around quite often, but they get kind of snippy with other members of the community, they're not mod material. Now, of course, it's always helpful if your mod knows the basic commands and has modded for other people in the past. That's wonderful. I have a lot of mods that mod other places, and I do know some streamers that if you become a mod for them, you're not allowed to mod in other areas. So you have to decide how you wanna outline your rules there. If you have somebody in your community that wants to learn how to mod and you genuinely trust them, then they need to know the basic commands just to start out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link down below all of the basic Twitch commands so that you're able to also have that link, share it with them, maybe learn some yourself. You should not mod somebody just because they ask for it. I have seen it happen. It has happened to me. It has happened to friends. People will come in. They'll be hanging out quite often in your channel and they'll just say, hey, give me mod. I can mod. I can do that. You need to make sure that you have a genuine conversation with anybody that you're going to give the sword to. Now, how many mods should you have? The important part is, do you always have a mod around when you're on? Now, some of you are starting out you have one, two, three viewers, and you're able to mod the channel yourself. And that's fine. And you should know how to. If you don't, again, check out that sheet that I attached down below. But for a good rule of thumb, just make sure that you always have a mod around. If you don't always have a mod around, that's okay. If there's little gaps here and there, no big deal. But your mods should always be there to handle something should it pop up. You get a follow bot, you get somebody spamming, somebody raids you or hosts you and you're busy engulfed in your game, then you want somebody there that can greet everyone, give a shout out, things like that. And I want to remind you again, make sure to not have too many mods. So if you're streaming and you have five viewers and three of them are mods, you're doing yourself and your channel a disservice. So if you have three or four viewers and one person is a mod, totally fine. You just want to make sure that you're keeping your mod to community ratio solid. Now, if you have 25 viewers and two or three mods, totally fine. You have a hundred viewers and two and three mods and they're good at their job, totally fine. 
and that could carry you for a very long time. Two or three mods that are good at what they do is like having pure gold. When covering the rules for your channel that you want your mods to follow, make sure that you lay it out in the mod biz channel in your Discord, which you should have if you watch the Discord video from last week. Hint, hint. Lay out exactly what rules you want them to follow. If it's the three strike rule, you might have a two strike rule. If you want them to put in the records room, the name of the person and a screenshot of when it happened and who banned them. Make sure that you're clear about how you want these things done so that you're all on the same page. It's very important. Another thing that you can put in the discord, let the mods know, Hey guys, you know, today's really hard on me. I woke up late and I got to work late and I'm getting home and I feel like I'm not going to stream tonight. Let your mods know when you're not going to be there. Communicate, communicate, communicate. The other part of it is, is I usually put in my discord like, Hey guys, early morning, I'm going to go ahead and go live. I have a lot of stuff to get done today. Just as a little reminder, I'm going to go live in 10 or 15 minutes. Again, communicate. If somebody hosts or raids you, would you like your mod to immediately give them a shout out? Or would you like your mod to wait until you acknowledge it and then give them a shout out? Honestly, it probably sounds simple, but these are things that come up and you want to make sure that you have laid out what you want for your mod. Now on my channel, I follow a three strikes or out rule. The first time somebody does something crazy in my channel, usually it's just a warning. The second time it's a timeout and the third time they're banned, period. All of my mods know that they follow that. It's, it's a great rule of thumb to have. Now, if they do something that is TOS, they need to be banned immediately. There should be no wait time. And let's talk about banning. Okay. This is really hard for new streamers. I get it. You have three or four viewers. You don't want to lose one. I mean, if you have four viewers and you ban somebody, that means you just lost 25% of your viewership. I know it gets scary to do something like that. If somebody acts a fool in your chat and crosses a line with you, they need to go immediately. Keeping toxic people around in your channel just to have a viewer will hurt you in the long run because what happens is they think it's okay to act that way there. They may have friends that come along and then act that way there. Meanwhile, anybody that stops by your stream and wants to hang out and is watching this happen, they don't want to hang out. They decide nah, that channel looks toxic. That makes the streamer probably toxic. I'm out of here. I'm going to go find somebody else to watch. If somebody in chat is rude to somebody else in chat and you don't nip that in the butt right away, bad times ahead. You've got to make sure that you stay on top of your chat or your mod does and that you are all on the same page. So another thing, and I've talked about this in the past, but it is important. If somebody is acting a fool in your chat and you allow it to go on, because maybe they're your friend or they've been around for a while or they're a VIP and then somebody else comes in and is hanging out and tries to jump in on the same conversation and kind of act the same way. And then you ban them or time them out. That's confusing. The rules need to apply to everybody is what I'm saying. Now let's talk about VIPs. VIPs are people in your community that have done something amazing to help you out. Or maybe they're your friend. Or maybe they're an old mod, but you still want to be able to recognize them some way. Give them the VIP. I think when you're starting out, you get a ton of them anyway, after you get affiliated, it's not a big deal. You should be able to hand those out to whoever you would like, but guard those. They should be special. If I show up in your channel and everybody's a VIP, what's the point? What makes it special? So make sure maybe somebody, you know, gifts five subs every week. That's a big deal. That's really nice. If you want to recognize them with a VIP, then do it. But that is up to you. That is not up to your mods or your friends or anybody else. That is up to you who you choose to make a VIP and who you don't choose. And if you need to remove it, that's okay too. This is your channel, your home, run it however the hell you want to. Again, just be careful that you're not handing out VIPs to people that don't deserve it as well. Just because somebody asked for it doesn't mean you should just give it to them. Now let's talk about editors. Editors are very important. 
because what they can do for you is they can change your channel title, they can change the game that you're playing, they can go back and download your VODs easily, they can um, add and delete clips, like there's, there's a lot of things that they can do. Now I have a few of my mods that are actually have the editor role as well because they can also run commercials for you when you need to. It's like my head mod Chi, he knows just run an ad every time I get out of raid. That way we try to keep that schedule going to where somebody that's just coming into my stream doesn't have to see ads and also they get ran in between the raids so nobody misses out on the action. But your editors are important and you may end up giving your editor role to your YouTube person that's making all of your videos for you. That's okay too. But again, make sure you're not just handing this role out to anybody. Okay guys, that was a quick snippet into mods, VIPs, and editors. I hope that helps. Make sure you follow Streamer Class on all the socials. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell notification so you know anytime I post a new video. Yeah, and come say hi in the Discord. All right guys, good luck out there.